So it finally happened. As of Tuesday this week, I no longer have a job to go to day to day and I'm dedicating myself to content creation full time. Everything that I've talked about in these videos is about my journey to becoming a full-time content creator, but I didn't expect it to happen this early. I'll be totally honest with you. What I want to do in this video is give you a little bit more insight into the ins and outs of what actually happened so you guys have all of the information. In a lot of my TikTok posts that have been doing quite well at the moment, I've been talking about the fact that I don't have a job so I'm going to play Fortnite because I don't want to go back to work and that's getting some good reactions. But it's not the whole truth. It's definitely part of it, but it's not the whole truth. If you watch my other video here on YouTube where I said I lost £100,000 a year, that's absolutely true. That goes through the process of me receiving the first phone call where people told me that essentially my job was at risk. When I say at risk, it meant I was at risk of being made redundant. Now, when you go to work, there is a whole process that a company has to go through in order to make sure that that is fair. After my first meeting, I essentially said I would like to volunteer to be redundant. And I'm very, very fortunate. My notice period, so the time that the employer has to give me before they can cease my contract is six months. So I'm not just jumping into this without a job and without any pay and without any plans. I have six months worth of pay guaranteed where I don't have work to do. I'm still officially employed by the company, but I don't have any work to do until August and I'll continue to get paychecks. Also on top of that, I will get a little bit of redundancy pay. It's not a huge amount of money. Uh, I've been at the company for about five years. You usually get a week for every year that you've been there when you're my age and that is capped at about 640 something pounds. So. In essence, I'll come out with about three thousand, three and a half thousand pounds on top of that six months pay at the end of that process. There are a couple of other things as well that are worth considering in this whole process of how is Charm going to afford to live whilst being a small content creator that is historically not made any money on the platforms that he's on. The first thing is that I own two cars at the moment. One of those cars we're still paying off. I'll talk about that in a little minute. Uh, and the other car I've owned for quite a while and I'll be selling that because Mrs. Charm recently got a promotion at work unlike me she's very employable and she'll be getting a car through work so we're going to sell the second car that I own and that'll be about another £4,000 on top of that to kind of fund me in my content creation journey. So so far we've got six months of guaranteed pay We've got redundancy pay of about three and a half thousand. We've got a car to sell at about four thousand pounds. So all in all, with savings throughout that six months with the car sale, that probably gives me at least eight or nine months worth of runway to try and give this a really good go. The other thing to consider is that some of my expenses are going to be coming down. I think I've said in previous videos, I'm very lucky to own quite a nice car and we're very near the end of paying that off. And that'll give me about another £400 a month that I don't have to spend out. It's not extra money that I'm making, but it's reducing my expenses, which will make things slightly easier on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, in addition to that, Baby Charm's going to be starting school soon. So because I won't have a job, we probably won't have to put her into before and after school club all that much and we'll be saving money on nursery, which I promise you is horrifically expensive. I think we pay about 12 or 1300 pounds a month in nursery fees. So all of this stuff compounded together gives me a really decent runway. I think I can give content creation and streaming a real good full-time go for at least five months before I even have to start considering looking for a new job. I'm actually not allowed to get another job whilst I'm still employed by this other company. I'm still officially employed by them for six months. So if I go and get another job, I essentially have to cut my notice period short, which for me feels like giving away free money. So anyway, the redundancy process is over uh, and I felt okay about it for a while. The weekend after I had my initial redundancy meeting, I was incredibly anxious, like verging on panic attacks, feeling very, very rough about it and just wanted the whole process to be over. Thankfully, that was over by the Monday and I was put on what they call garden leave by the Tuesday. Garden leave is what I was talking about where you're still officially employed by the company, but they don't require you to come into the office. They don't require you to undertake your duties, but they are paying you your notice period, which for me is six months, which is very, very unusual. So that's where we are today. Since being made redundant, I made the decision to switch up my schedule a little bit. Previously, I used to stream on Monday, Wednesday and Friday from about 4.45 to about 7.38. That was basically around my work schedule. 
finish work at half four, I would set up and I'd start streaming about quarter to five. Now I have lots of free time. And I say free time, it's not really free time because I'm trying to make this a career. So if anything, I'm working a lot harder now than I ever have done over the past couple of years. But my new schedule pretty much looks like this. I drop baby charm off at nursery for about eight, half eight. I'm down in the cabin by nine at the latest. The cabin is where I am now. That's where I do all my concentration, where I do all my streaming. It's at the end of my garden. From nine until 11, 12, I'm making content. So that's the time right now I'm recording this video. So I review all the news around gaming for the day in the morning, set up my backlog of things that I wanna record for that day, things that I think I can add value to, and then I set up my camera, my light, and I start recording my short form content for TikTok. That usually takes about an hour or so, and then after that, I'm into editing. So from 10 till 11, 12, I'm basically editing the content to be posted across TikTok, across Instagram, across YouTube, whatever that might be. Once that's done, I give myself a little break. I go and have some lunch, spend some time with Mrs. Charm if she's not in the office. We have lunch together. And then I come back down here, and from one until five, six, depending on what day it is, I will be streaming. At the moment, I've been doing Fortnite streams in the day because they're really good in terms of popularity, in terms of numbers. The posts have been performing incredibly well. Since I got the confirmation that I didn't have to go to work, which was Tuesday, I think I've gained six, 700 followers. It was only about three or four days ago that I actually hit 9,000 followers. And as of today, we're above 9,700. So it's been incredible growth since I started putting this content out. 10,000 followers on TikTok is a milestone for me, not because I want more followers, it's because that is the point at which you can apply for the creativity program, which means you can essentially monetize your TikTok account. I already make a little bit of money off subscriptions and gifts within my lives, not huge amounts, but you know, it's very much appreciated. With the TikTok creativity program, TikTok will pay me for the views that I get on videos and it doesn't cost the users anything. So that's one milestone. I think we're gonna get there maybe today. The other focus for me is my YouTube content. So I'm going through a process at the moment where I'm calling some of the old content. I've deleted a load of videos that I don't think really vibe with the channel anymore. I did them early on. I don't think the quality's there. I'm gonna be producing more new style content and continuing the Charm Diaries on YouTube. And I really wanna be aiming to be posting on YouTube long form at least three times a week. These do take a little bit longer and they're a little bit more labor intensive in terms of edits, they're a little bit more labor intensive in terms of recording, but it is an area I wanna focus on and I'm really excited to get more into the YouTube side of things. It's definitely a tougher nut to crack, but I think that's just time. With the YouTube channel, there's also the podcast, which honestly, I've really struggled to get people to come on. Either my emails aren't getting through to them or they're just ignoring me or they're not interested in doing podcasts. I think one of the challenges is, a lot of gamers are just introverts. I know they stream and stuff and et cetera, et cetera, but they don't want to invest the mental energy to sit for an hour, an hour and a half with someone who they don't know who has a small channel to do a podcast talking about how they got into content creation. I will keep planning on with that. I've got a couple of people planned in. I'm going to be talking to Melvin Spiel today. Uh, we've got a date scheduled in for Cadet Grumpy Duck, who's got a, a decent uh, TikTok following. Um, we'll hopefully get a couple more people on, but there's a couple of people I want to shout out in terms of how they've supported me because they have absolutely been phenomenal and there is no reward for them whatsoever. First off, Dead Friend Redemption, who's been following my channel for a long time. And since he came into my Red Dead 2 stream, he has been offering support with absolutely no want for anything back. This is someone I've never met in real life. We just came across each other in the stream and he just continued to support me from there. He's been such an amazing help and has been giving me advice so much along the way. As part of that little dead friend community, I've also come across uh, WSocket and Swips. WSocket, we've made some content together. We've um, been online together and, and played a few times. It's been absolutely phenomenal in terms of saying, if you need to create videos, if you want to do stuff together, let's do it, let's get a date in. He said he'll come down and help me with some bigger content that I want to do for the YouTube channel. Just lots of, lots of generous offers from him. And then finally, Swips, who honestly has been on the phone to me every other day to be like, how are you doing? What are you doing? This is what you need to be getting into. This is this is needs to be your schedule. He's basically been like a like a motivational fucking get your ass into gear, get going, because I know you can do this and here's the things that you need to be focusing on. 
I've only very, very recently met Swips. Like, I, I've kind of, we've been in the same circle for a little bit, but only really started speaking much more recently. And honestly, he's given me far more help than is required of him. And he's getting very, very little in return for that. So I just wanna, I wanna thank those guys specifically because they're absolutely amazing. By and large, when I'm talking about losing my job, the support has been absolutely phenomenal. There are the odd people that say, go and get a real job and all of that kind of stuff. They have no idea about my situation. And that's why I wanted to add a little bit more kind of flavor to what's actually going on with me because the short form content really doesn't give you the space to be able to talk in any depth about a subject. So if I went on TikTok and was talking about, I've got six months uh, notice period and uh, then I get some redundancy and then I've got a car to sell and all that kind of stuff, what would happen is people would just click off after the first couple of seconds. But if I go on TikTok and say, I just love, lost my job and I'm gonna be playing Fortnite instead of looking for a new one, Jesus Christ, people go wild for that. Even with that type of post, there's such a huge amount of support. People coming into my live stream, hundreds of people saying, I really respect that you're doing this full time, really respect that you're kind of following your dream. And then there's a few people that are like, go and get a real job, um, that kind of thing. And I make more money than you. They've got no idea about my situation, but you know, whatever that might be. So look, there's going to be a lot invested into the YouTube channel. Uh, so please do subscribe if you haven't already. Um, this is the first week of me being a full time content creator from Tuesday uh, to, to, to now, basically it's Friday today. And I've, just not been this happy in a long time. Honestly, I just, all the anxiety, all of the trepidation that I had with getting up to go to work anymore, it's just gone. I know it's gonna be hard, I know it's gonna get harder, but God damn it, I'm invested in it. I love it so much. I'm so happy with what I'm doing. That is indescribable. The final thanks I've got is for Mrs. Chan because my first instinct when uh, I got the phone call to say I was, you know, my job was at risk was, shit, I need to find a new job straight away. She knew I wasn't happy for a long time and she knew that uh, I didn't think that I wanted to pursue the career that I pursued anymore. I've been doing it for 15 years and I've been pretty successful at it. I've made a good amount of money. I've had good job, job titles, all of that, but she knew I wasn't happy. And she said, before you jump into getting another job, before you jump out of the frying pan and into the fire, why don't you give this content from your girl? I want to be clear, you don't need permission from anyone to follow the thing that you love, to kind of pursue the bliss in your life. But the permission really fucking helps. If you've got a spouse or a partner or you know, a significant other in your life, or maybe it's your parents, and that permission is not given, it's still possible to do, but it makes it that little bit harder because you have to say to people, you know what, fuck what you're saying, I'm going to do it anyway against your wishes, and that can cause a lot of friction. Mrs. Charm has been the absolute opposite. She has just said to me, go and do this thing, give it your best shot. You know, if it's not going in the right direction in four or five months, then we can figure stuff out. God, I love that woman. She's so good to me. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next channel, guys. There's a little PS at the end of this because I want to see if she watched all the way to the end. But this is a little shout out to Sarah Murphy, who's a mod in my TikTok stream. She has been an absolute star since she came into the stream. But since this all happened, the amount of support she's shown me has been through the roof. She gifts so much on the TikTok stream. She subscribes. She's an amazing mod. I've had other streamers say to me, Sarah Murphy is your best mod, so I just want to thank her. So all of I appreciate you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the words of encouragement. Thank you for always being in the stream and being an amazing mom. You're a star.